than we thought she was running over people because we, we just really saw people scatter. A suspected carjacker barrels through barricades in downtown Greenville. It happened tonight at South Main Street and Falls Park Drive. That is right outside our 7 on Main studio where setup was going on for tomorrow's Liberty Bridge jump off. Our 7 News reporter Nikkel Smith standing by live from right outside these studios. Nikkel, tell us what people saw. Yeah, Gordon and Tom, talk about a frightening evening this Friday night here in downtown Greenville. We were working here at our 7 on Main studio when we heard the commotion and then saw that gray, silverish colored SUV just coming down South Main. And this is the mess that it's left behind this evening. Take a look at how the scene looked earlier today. The SUV made a left turn off Falls Park Drive and onto South Main Street and did not stop. The road was blocked off with barricades and the car just kept on going even onto the sidewalk trying to make its way down Main Street. Greenville police say it was suspected uh, that this car was stolen from an apartment complex and officers caught up to the car a few blocks away at Fall Street and East Court Street. You can see it appears the, the car, the suspected vehicle actually hit another vehicle. And earlier today we talked to some folks who saw what happened. She slammed on brakes at the green barricade and then hit the gas and floored it, it. through it. here onto the sidewalk through the barricades. But it was just terrifying in the moment you're like, did I just see what I <laughs> yeah. saw? It's like you only see stuff like that in the news, <laughs> like somewhere else, not, <laughs> in, the not in Greenville. Yeah. Like, you know, like people, I almost wondered, is it they trying like a terrorist okay. attack? And again, we're here in downtown Greenville, and you can see over here just kind of the mess that's still in the middle of the street here after that car just drove right through here earlier this evening. At this hour, Greenville police have not confirmed if indeed that suspect is in custody. We're still working to learn more details about exactly what happened here, Tom and Gordon. So, Nikkel, as bad, as terrifying as all of this was tonight, I can't help but think about the what if if this had happened yeah. tomorrow when this event, the athletic event that was slated to happen out there was actually underway with all those crowds there. Pokemon Go! You guys like Pokemon Go? Right, and you know, it's actually kind of Pokemon surprising Go. and really miraculous that nobody was hurt during this. We haven't seen any EMS vehicles or anything like that come out here so far, and we haven't heard of any word of any injuries that happened as a result of this happening, you know, right in downtown on a Friday evening. Yeah, just incredible, Tom. I, I'll tell you one thing. In Nikkel's uh, video there, you, you heard a woman say they thought it was a terrorist attack. That was, and I, Nikkel and I talked about this before the broadcast, that was our first thought as well because it was such a textbook up on the sidewalk thing. And Nikkel, it, you must have talked to at least a half dozen people who witnessed it because I did too. And I, I think that was the unanimous feeling. I mean, a, a carjacking later emerged as a possible issue here. But I, I, I think most people thought, Nikkel, it was a terrorist attack. Right. That was my first thought as well. In this day and age, Gordon, it's not very surprising, unfortunately, to see people have that mentality when you hear about a car that's driving through what's typically a very crowded, busy downtown area and going, I mean, it was going full speed through these barricades earlier. It was quite terrifying. Unbelievable. Yeah. And by the way, Tom, you mentioned that the event had not started yet for yeah. tomorrow night. It's Friday night in downtown Greenville in the summertime, so it is still very crowded down here on the sidewalk. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll of course, stay in touch with the police, see if they figure out how all this came about. So very glad nobody heard tonight. Nikkel, thank you.